Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's Move Monday, y'all. I'm Pastor Bobby D. Hamill from the Great Friendship Church in Sweet Sugar Land, Texas. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's Move Monday. And I'm not moving by myself. I got somebody with me here. Miss Marilyn's out here moving. So many times you guys say I'm only dealing with people who are in fit, tip, tip, top condition and all that. But I got someone here who, who's a senior that's getting it in. Miss, Miss Marilyn's out here. I got a walker out here with a hat on. It's hot out here, y'all. Miss <laughs> Marilyn's out. Miss Marilyn, say hello to the Move Monday mob. Good morning. How are you guys? <laughs> this, is a, this is a fine day. I mean, we started a little bit late because it's so hot out here now. But we can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Wow. Now, now Miss Mary, tell me, how often do you get out here and move? Well, anywhere from three to four days a week. Wow, wow. And we come out early in the morning. My, my daughter walks too, but she walks on the other side. Uh-huh. I walk on the scene over here because I'm walking with this walker. No, say, say to Miss Marilyn, you got you got a walker, Miss Marilyn. Yeah. Look at Miss Walker, Miss Marilyn. Walker. See a walker, see a walker, see a walker. Yeah. Can you see it? Miss Marilyn has a walker, y'all. Uh huh. And say, say, many of you are saying I can't do that. I can't do anything. Yes, you can. Yeah. As part of the Move Monday mob, I've told you for years. It doesn't matter what your choice of move is, as long as you move. That's right. Some move faster, That's right. some move slower, yeah. but we all do move. That's you right. are officially part of the Move Monday mob. Doesn't care about your race. Doesn't care about your ethnicity. Does not care about your economical condition or your financial affiliation or your political affiliation. What What matters is your willing to move miss Marilyn now I want, I, want, I want you to how long have you been moving how long when, when, um, when did you start all this exercise well actually about two years ago really two years uh, two years ago I mean I always exercise because I, I go to the pinnacle yeah so the pinnacle is uh it's for senior citizens uh, uh. and they have a place that you can do zumba and line dancing and all that plus walking yeah walk the track so I started that about five or six years ago. Five, so, so what is Miss Marilyn that motivates you to begin moving? Why why did you even start doing all that? Well, because I've always I used to be a dancer. Oh, okay, 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 Miss Marilyn. I'm not a dancer, but I love to dance. You love to dance? Yes. And when when I start think, thinking about the, the movement that I was losing yeah. in my legs, yeah, yeah, I was like, uh. -uh. Wow. This gotta go. So we ain't going out I like that. Gotta move. Uh -uh. Gotta We're move. Not going out. Ooh, Miss Marilyn. Now you know it's hot out here, Miss Marilyn. That's why you got that wonderful hat on uh -huh. and everything. Oh yeah. But you got your walker out here. Hey, I heard you earlier you had your music on, listen to a little Maxwell. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you were. But you out here doing this thing, Miss Marilyn. That's right. Miss Marilyn, I want you to encourage somebody out there right now who's watching and they laying up in the bed. They sitting around there just is eating eggs and eating bacon. What would you say to them? How can you get them out of that out of that house today? go out maybe not if you don't come out today yeah, yeah. but come out in in the mornings yeah, yeah. when it's when it's uh cooler yeah, yeah. and just just step just, just, say a little prayer yeah yeah that's what i do amen say yeah. a little prayer yeah and just walk the track and just walk. wherever you wherever you yeah. can walk in your area yeah. or the park that we go to i like this one because there's no Dogs that are not on on, on know, leash, on a yeah, leash. yeah. So I like this one, and I like this one because of the uh, the street. Yes, I can use my walker. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I don't need a walker to walk. Right, right. I just need a walker to keep walking. To keep walking. Oh, and I try to, I try to do at least two miles. Wow. I go this. Wow. You I do are, this. Amen. So I need it. My my. Uh, I go to a uh, uh, weight management. Yeah, yeah. And. She tells me that I need to make at least five to six thousand steps right, a day. Right, right. So that's what oh, I'm doing. Oh, Miss you got Miss Mary, you in great shape, Miss Mary. You out here doing <laughs> this thing. I saw you out here. I said we got to get on Move Money. <laughs> you are, you are the epitome. You represent what Move Money is so. about. Oh. It's for everybody and anybody. We just trying to get you to take care of your body. That's right. Our bodies are a temple of the Lord. We want to take care of our body. Yes. And so whether you're older or younger, it does not matter. We yeah. doing this thing, y'all. Yeah. Well, Miss seventy seven years old. Seventy seven years old. And see, see, I tell you, you guys tell I'm always I'm always around people that's in their twenties and thirties. Miss Marilyn, seventy seven years old and doing this thing, y'all. <laughs> right. Wow, Miss Marilyn. Miss Marilyn, thank you for being part of Move Money. You you go on, keep on walking. I've interrupted okay. your walking. Okay. You getting this in, Miss Marilyn? You you gotta move so fun, so fast. I gotta I gotta run, keep up with you. <laughs> no, you don't. Ah! <laughs> well, thank you, Miss Marilyn, for being okay. part of Move Monday. Oh, wow. Hey guys, it's Move Monday mob. It's what we do. It's Move Monday. 
I want to thank you, God. I told you, you never know where we're going to be. You never know who we're going to be with. But you know, on Monday, we're going to be together because you part of the mob. I got my T-shirt on. If you want your T-shirt, go to movemondaymob at gmail.com. Movemondaymob at gmail.com. And you too can get your shirt and start your franchise, start your group where we may be as part of Move Monday Mob. I see you all over the country now. And you're talking about Move Monday. But I want you just to see me. I want to see you. Let me hear what you move of choice may be today and while you're moving move on over there to the friendship website friendship cbc a website or youtube i'm in a sermon series and the sermon series is titled i'm ready to grow up i'm ready to, and i preached part two that was rooted out of Acts, the book, Acts 18, 24 to 28. And I was talking about you can't do it by yourself. I was talking about the imperative, the necessity of us helping people in our lives to help us grow. You can't grow by yourself. God has so put the body of Christ together that we need each other to grow. You can't just say just me and King Jesus and I don't need nobody else. You got to have other people in your life to help you grow mature people. And in that passage of Acts 18, there was a man named Apollos. Apollos was great, mighty in the scriptures, a great eloquent man, but he lacked the deep theological uh, nuances, the actual collection, the actual c c combining the old and new covenant together, and he needed somebody to help him understand a fuller expression, a deeper knowledge, a deeper understanding of the life of Christ, the fulfillment of Christ, the gospel of Jesus Christ, and how the new covenant is now in place, in place the old covenant. And it has two, I had a power couple, a dynamic duo named Priscilla and Aquila, who came along, and the Bible says they heard Apollos, and they took him aside, and they explained to him the way of God in a more ex expressive way, a more deeper way, and it changed Apollos' life. Apollos became a mighty man of God, sound in the scriptures, and the Bible says he was proven from the scriptures that Jesus is the Messiah, he's the Christ. He proved from the Old Testament that Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world, and he did it because he had this couple that came alongside and helped him. You may be an Apollos today. You may be someone alongside of you who got some knowledge Knowledge, but they don't have complete knowledge about the gospel of Jesus Christ or the person of Jesus Christ from the scriptures, from the Holy Scriptures. And so God has called you today to be a Priscilla or Aquila to come along somebody who needs your help. Somebody who needs to not just say God in a very generic sense, but understand the God of the Bible, that they may grow up in Jesus Christ, in their character, in their conduct, in their choices, in their commitment, in their resources, in every avenue of life. You've been a baby Christian for far too long. I said on Sunday, God is not satisfied with you just being saved. God wants you to grow up and to the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And for you to grow healthy and strong, you need the body of Christ, someone in the body of Christ, someone's in the body of Christ to come alongside and to help you grow up, to sit with you, to teach you, to listen to you, to carry you, to instruct you from the word of God. You can't make it by yourself. God never intended your Christianity to be an individual enterprise. You're part of the collective. You're part of the body of Christ. Same daddy, same blood, same future destination. We're the body of Christ. And God wants you to be connected to somebody. So who's in your circle today? Who's in your circle who could be characterized as an Apollos that needs you to come alongside and to help them to deeper, fuller understand the gospel of Jesus Christ and how to live, how to live as a follower of Jesus Christ. Or maybe I'm talking to Apollos right now. You are that somebody. And so you need to allow some man, some woman, some group, some local minister to come alongside you and to help you understand not just the milk of Christianity, but the meat of Christianity. You need somebody because you just can't do it by yourself. Oh, I got to go, y'all. I got to go stretch now. What Miss Miss Marilyn, wasn't she phenomenal? Thank God for that. So she's like, two miles a day walking. It's what we do. We're a part of the Move Monday Mob. Go get your Bible. Go get your tablet. Pull it up. Look at it. Acts 18, 24 to 28. And it revolutionized Apollos' life because God ordered ordain a Priscilla and Aquila to be there in his time of need. They heard him and they realized something, something is not right. And they came alongside and they helped him. God wants you to come along somebody and help somebody to help somebody to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ 
through the word of God. What a mighty God we serve. What a move Monday group we have. We thank God. We praise God. Get your t-shirt and I'll see you Wednesday night at the Friendship Church, a place to begin again. Miss Marilyn's on her lap number two. She got another four laps to go, but thank God she's moving. Get out and move. Don't sit around and watch us move. Don't sit around and try to be judgmental about our move. Don't sit around and just simply tell folks that we're moving. Come move with us. It's Move Monday. It's just what we do. I'll see you Wednesday night at the Friendship Church, a place to begin again. Woo! Put a praise right